What TV series was so good you have re-watched it more than once? Band of Brothers The Expanse Malcolm in the Middle I watch the entire series multiple times a year. Firefly I watch it approximately every two years. Psych. When a show is so good that we get not just six seasons and a movie, but we get eight seasons and three more movies on the Owe It To Yourself to watch. The X-Files. Arrested Development. The original three-season run. I recently watched it for probably no joke the 50th time through start to finish. Certain episodes have definitely seen 80,100 times. And I'm still noticing little things that make the jokes pop even more. Does a cartoon count? No joke, for me, it's Gravity Falls. Futurama. HBO's Rome. I re-watch it almost every year. Brilliantly acted. Interesting characters and very funny too. I highly recommend it. Especially if you have some interest in Roman history or you enjoy historical pieces. Golden Girls. The Good Place. Scrubs. House. Parks and Rec. I'm currently on my gajillionth watch of Community. Battlestar Galactica. 30 Rock. The West Wing. Sopranos and The Wire. Star Trek. Doctor Who. Kim's Convenience. The Golden Girls. Frasier. It was a feel-good show that was on in our house all the time when I was a kid so it became a comfort show and now that I'm in my 30s, re-watching it as an adult is so relatable and it's hilarious. I watch through it multiple times a year. M.A.S.H. Schitt's Creek. Dairy Girls. Supernatural. This was my gateway medium into sci-fi. Farscape. Features not only one of the best darn protagonists I've ever seen in a fish-out-of-water scenario. John Crichton. But also one of the best darn on-screen romances John Crichton ex-officer Aaron Sun. Folks may recommend Star Trek. Or Babylon 5. Or Battlestar Galactica. Or Stargate SG-1. I will always recommend Farscape. Hannibal. It might be the most visually and artistically stunning show I've ever watched. The writing is unbelievable. I would just sit in awe at some of the psychological and existential conversations they would have. On the show, an overwhelming majority of the actors are phenomenal and it makes the subject material even more enthralling. The lead actor has a very strong Danish accent so I turned subtitles on to make sure I didn't miss anything. It was nothing short of exquisite. Chernobyl. I always watch True Detective Season 1. So freaking good. Mad Men. I watched the entire series a few years after it ended. Three years ago I had a baby watched it through twice with ads the fact that they were limited in what they could say and show because it was on AMC and it was still entertaining is not easy to do. Could you imagine what that show would have been like if HBO picked it up? Scrubs but not the extra seasons. The Office. Firefly. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. My wife and I do a full rewatch of Burn Notice annually. What We Do in the Shadows. Ted Lasso I have watched the three seasons several times since the finale Still Cold Sweat Smile. Letterkenny. I've watched Lost probably 30 times. And before anybody starts whining. I like the ending just fine. I've also watched Vikings many times. The Trailer Park Boys and Battlestar Galactica. Stargate SG-1 and Atlantis. The Andy Griffith Show. Miami Vice. Any of the Star Treks except Discovery. The Shield, Justified. 
Avatar. Deadwood I watch it every few years those who doubt me, suck cock by choice. News Radio. MASH. True Detective Season 1. Fleabag. BBC Sherlock is my main one. And definitely a go to when I'm sick and stuck in bed. Fringe Heroes Season 1 Firefly Lost Gravity Falls. The Clone Wars. All the pre New Trek Star Trek series TOS. TNG. DS9. Voyager. Enterprise. I watch every one of these series every year. I've seen them all at least 10 times each. Monk. Partially. You can't just rewatch it infinitely. Columbo. Justified but no need to watch the reboot. The Simpsons. There are only nine seasons. The West Wing. Every holiday season one binge watch it. Veep. Seinfeld. Okay hear me out it's fringe. I'm watching it for the third time, and I don't watch anything. Upside down face. Star Trek All Series. Any TV series one watch. I end up re-watching more than once. Criminal Minds haven't watched the last season because I don't want it to end. House. Doctor Who. Atypical. Can't even count how many times I've watched Seinfeld. Babylon 5. Freaks and Geeks The Wire Batman The Animated Series. Silicon Valley. Arcane. I've watched the entirety of The Sopranos like a dozen times at this point. Psych, come on son. The Office. The Good Place. Schitt's Creek. Makes me laugh, cry and just feel all warm and fuzzy every time. Game of Thrones is still my comfort show, even season 8. Rereading the books now. Deadwood. King of the Hill I love. Any Star Trek except for Discovery tease so so but not great. I've also watched Narcos and Narcos Mexico more than once. Some of the best TV I've ever seen. And finally, whenever I can't think of something to watch I just put on a couple of episodes of Psych. Banda Brothers. True Detective Season 1 is like a cult movie to me. Patriot. Spoilers. The one where the blonde white guy was tortured by listening to music for a while and then just wants to chill out with his wife, but is too busy with stuff. The old Star Trek 1966-69 series has kinda grown on me, but I have only five absolute favorites. 1. The Immunity Syndrome. 2. The Doomsday Machine. 3. Balance of Terror. 4. The City on the Edge of Forever. 5. Elon of Troyes. I. Claudius Neon Genesis Evangelion. I've watched the entirety of Community at least 20 times. Peep Show. Star Trek all of them except the first series, it's just too dated for me. Homeland. The Americans. Jericho. Rubicon. Mad Men. Also sitcoms like Frasier. Cheers and Home Improvement. True Detective Season 1. Watch 5 times The Wire. Watched 4 times. Parks Rec. Lucifer on Netflix. I've seen and re-watched all 6 seasons. More than once. House. Mad Men. Frasier. Most of the Star Treks. Fringe. X-Files, Downton Abbey. Frasier. Frasier. It's the one show I always go back to. The Haunting of Hill House. House Breaking Bad. Big Bang Theory. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Phineas and Ferb. Supernatural.